Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic. This is your first time coming across the channel. If you can press that subscribe button below, 75% of you that watch these videos don't effing subscribe. So press that button, get on it like a car bonnet. Let's celebrate like a real fucking Celtic fan. What a result today. Celtic 4, Motherwell 0. Tommy Rogic. What an absolute goal of a player. Goals from Liela Bade, Tommy with two, and Deza Almeida with his second goal for the hoops. Unbelievable stuff. I'm absolutely sitting here. Butterflies in my stomach. I wish I was obviously at the game in Fair Park. But one thing I want to say. It should have been double figures. We absolutely destroyed them. From 20 minutes on, we were literally pressing, pressing, pressing. And let's talk about the first goal. The ball in from Taylor to Atate. And then Atate on the left wing slots into the Alabada. Abada is clinical when he plays in that middle position. I know he wasn't playing there today, but to get himself in that, the middle of that box for that goal was absolutely surreal. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Then shortly after, the Alabada gave an assist to Tommy Rogic outside the box. Boom, into the left corner. Top left corner, keep it and have a clue. He got a little bit of a touch on him, but what can you say? Tommy Rogic, you know, that's just Tommy Rogic brand. You know, them, them sexy goals from outside the box. You know, that chorus, you've seen how many times he's done it for Celtic over the last nine years. Countless times, absolutely countless times. And then the, the third one came shortly after. That ball from Anthony Ralston. Up the pitch to the Alabada and then about it to pass on to Tom. Unbelievable. We could have been 5 0 up at half time, maybe 6 0. Only for their keeper, they, he pulled off some wonder saves. But, you know, Maeda played well on the left and then we changed it around at, we, we changed it around at half time. We made a couple of subs. Attack day came off. Beaton came on. And Beaton played well, commanded the game quite well. And Callum stayed on for around 60 odd minutes, almost scored. James Forrest came on, had a, had a decent game. Jota had a couple of chances, unfortunately not to score. It's just great to see that song, hear that song, Jota on the wing. Unbelievable. But um, Jack Amakis threw himself around today, done a decent job. He's unfortunate to get booked. And then the fourth call came in the second half. Maeda. Let's talk about Matt O'Reilly coming off the bench and providing the crack and assist like that. It was absolutely immense. The way he done it. The perfection of that pass. And then a little slight deflection off the Motherwell player. And then lobbed off the keeper. It was a real Larson finish, wasn't it? It really was a Larson finish. But his little celebration, the, the little chops he does made it. Absolutely class. I know the scary thing about this, folks, is Koyogo to come back. Julian the feature. Turnbull to come back. I'm telling you, we're going to rip teams apart in the second half of the season. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to mark the words on this. We're going to beat a team by double figures for the end of the season. I really believe it. But, you know, Greg Taylor had a fantastic game left back. Ralston came in for Jovanovic today, started, had an outstanding game. You know, as I said, talking on that pass and the tour goal was unbelievable. Starfelt won everything, won every battle today. And, you know, he was great. Joe Hart, another clean sheet for him. You know, Carter Vickers, you know, he doesn't even have to go into fifth gear and he had an outstanding game. As a Callum had a great game. Tommy was unbelievable. Atate had a good game for his half. Abada got taken off. I wish Abada stayed on because he would have could have would have got more goals. But Tommy was unfortunate to score in the second half. He hit the posts. We had chance upon chances, but that was a massive thing. But subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to us all soon. Let us know who your man the match was. Clearly it has to be Tommy Rogic. Bring them on up the Celts.